We are back for one last video. Be sure and stay till the end because it's gonna be litty, yo. My John Cena collection is like a nostalgia infection. A trip down memory lane taking over your brain. Check out the whole series if you need further inspection. Just don't say I didn't warn you when you leave within a... That was hot. What? No? Weird? Is it the closet? It's the closet. You mean, yeah, no, of course I'm running with it. That shit was awesome. Uh, hey guys, welcome back. Word Life C Nation, woo woo. So I really honestly did want to highlight uh, the, the changes that I made in the closet recently. I actually just kind of organized all this a lot better. Here's a quick before and after for you guys from the other video. I didn't really show a whole lot of the closet for these reasons. But I'm very, very excited with how my closet has turned out, how everything looks right now. It's a work in progress. I do plan on uh, decluttering more, getting rid of more things, changing it up. But I really like what I got going on so far. I did want to kind of wrap this up, this video series, just because, uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot more shirts to go over. Um, I did actually miss out on these jerseys here. This one I actually bought for Halloween. This one here, the Marine logo, the Always Faithful C Nation one. That was when C Nation was fairly new uh the marine logo there i really like it this one's uh, actually customized so my name harris is on the back of the 54 jersey instead comment down below what uh what your favorite shirt is some things i highlighted in the older video series there comment your favorite shirt down below if you recognize whatever your favorite one might be but today i had to make a video of this because i've hinted at it in a couple other videos and we're getting into it. The Chain Gang Click Shirt. We're finally getting to it. This one I actually spent quite a bit of time trying and trying to find information on this fan club. I remember joining it. I've had this shirt. I remember the lanyard that it came with with a little card in it that had my name on it and like my fan club ID number. I remember the autographed photo that I had gotten from it. And the only thing I have left from any of it is this shirt. On the next slide, I'm actually going to put up what I did find on the internet. I found the information card, and it's got a picture of everything that comes in it. So, the autograph photo actually, for a short time there, I, I thought I was going to join the military. And one of the recruiters actually became a good friend of mine. Uh, we've lost touch now. It's been 12 years or whatever. But his son was a big John Cena fan. So, I gave him his son the autographed photo that I got from this fan club. Now, that was awesome. That was, it was really cool to kind of give to him. Cause I'm like, it's just a photo of an autograph. It's not like I had met John Cena to get it. It just came in the mail. I wasn't doing anything with it. I didn't have it displayed. So um, I, I ended up giving it to his son. So I know I don't have that. Everything else just got lost and fell by the wayside. The email stopped coming that John Cena was sending or whatever, if it was actually John Cena. You never know with these sort of things, you know? Um, and nothing else came of it. It went away very quick. It faded out very quickly, but this t-shirt will live forever cool shirt of mine uh, again I did post in the last video that this is an extra large and with the John Deere uh, design I actually got to uh, buy sizes as small as mediums from starting out as a very overweight kid to getting into fitness and losing a bunch of weight um, it's just been a great journey. These t-shirts, uh, I know I've talked, I got a lot of copyright claims on these videos because I've been using clips and stuff of John Cena that aren't mine and I didn't create to kind of paint the time frames of it. But as much as this is a snapshot of John Cena's career, what he's done, where he's gone, and what he will continue to do, um, it's really been a highlight to me to go down memory lane, talk about my childhood memories, re-experience these things, and also be inspired to redo my John Cena collection and... Make it look a lot better, guys. Got that super rare blue jersey there. Only 20 ever made. Oh, I still can't believe that I have that in my collection. If you haven't watched my past video that talks about this, definitely go check it out. This is 11 of 20, signed by John Cena from 2006, I believe. Chain Gang Soldier Royal Blue Jersey, one of 20. Absolutely awesome. This poster came in uh, the NFT kit here. One of the most limited pieces John Cena's ever done. Limited to 500. Hat, 
Got that. The uh, NFT kit video is one of our most watched videos, so I'd imagine a lot of you have seen it. For those of you who can't see what I'm talking about, we also got the uh, championship title there. I'm not going to take it all out here. Wristbands and towel. This is a pen I have in my pen box. I just put that in there, but all the titles there. And of course, the beautiful hat. Absolutely love this design. Really, really awesome. And my goodness, now as I go to film the closing of this video, I'm discovering the uh, PBR shirts where John Cena had to come out with two different designs. They thought maybe there was going to be a season to with PBR, but then John Cena ended up wearing it on TV anyway. Um, we've got the throwback stuff where he was wrestling Rusev for the U.S. title at WrestleMania and ended Rusev's undefeated streak. I just... Now that it's organized and I can see it and I can go through in order as they came out, I just, there's so many memories here. Thank you guys for this, um, hanging out. And, and I mean, if you guys want another one, if, if you would like me to talk about the PBR shirts and the throwback stuff, I absolutely can. I've got the U.S. title, the champ is here shirt when John Cena was doing the open challenge, which is some of the best John Cena content we've ever gotten, certainly in the PG era. Um, goodness, this whole... This whole cubicle right here, here, this whole cubicle, this is great memories of John Cena. Absolutely just a great cubicle here. Great, great cubicle. And then he kind of moves on 15 time, respect. And then those I just got there just so there's more shirts in that cubicle. But wow, I, I really enjoy this display. I think it looks a lot better. It makes my closet less cluttered. Um, really highlights my John Cena collection. It's great. Truly, thank you all again for sticking around, watching this video and all the other ones and enjoying this series if you enjoyed it. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all those things. That's how YouTube works. Follow us on other social media platforms. Harris Family Hobbies. If you Google it, we'll come up, I'm sure. But TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube.